Hello friend, I am back with another important topic. The topic is gym and heart attack. So welcome to my channel Kumarjit Fitness and if you are new to my channel, please please subscribe and turn the notification bell on. So let's start a video. Nowadays there are many cases of heart attack during gym exercises. To cover this topic in this video, we will go through three main parts. These are number one process and causes of heart attack number two does gym increase the danger number three how can you prevent this so we start with number one that that is process and causes of heart attack leading risk factors for heart attack heart disease and stroke are high blood pressure high low density lipoprotein that means ldl cholesterol diabetes smoking and secondhand smoke exposure, obesity, unhealthy diet, and physical inactivity. Lack of physical activity is the biggest factor of heart attack and coronary heart disease. In research, it is seen that in physically inactive pupil, the risk of heart attack increases by 30 to 50 percent. High blood pressure is a leading cause of heart disease and stroke because it damages the lining of the arteries making them more susceptible to the build of a plaque which narrows the arteries leading to the heart and brain eating too much sodium also can lead to high blood pressure high ldl cholesterol can double a person's risk of heart disease that's because excess cholesterol can build in the walls of arteries and limit blood flow to a person's heart, brain, kidneys, other organs and legs. Adults with diabetes are twice as likely to have heart disease or a stroke as pupil who do not have diabetes. Over time, high blood sugar from diabetes can damage blood vessels in the heart and block blood vessels leading to the brain causing a stroke. Smoking is a major cause of heart disease and stroke and causes one in every four deaths from these conditions. Smoking can damage the body several ways. Number one, it raises triglyceride. It is a type of fat in the blood and it lowers the HDL cholesterol that means the good cholesterol. Number two, making body sticky and more likely to clot and these can also block blood flow to the heart and brain. Number three, increasing the buildup of plaque. That means plaque means I mean to say fat, cholesterol, calcium and other substances, substances in blood vessels. Number four, compared to those at normal weight, people with overweight or obesity are at increased rate of heart attack and stroke and their risk factors including high blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, high triglyceride and type 2 diabetes. Now, let's go back to our main question. Does it increase the risk of heart attack by going to the gym? And should we stop going to the gym? Let me ask you another question for this. It is said that in the world every year 13 lakh people die in road accident. So should we stop driving? Should the government apply a ban on scooters and motorcycles which are most risky in terms of uh, vehicle accident? In fact, there are many people who die walking on foot. So should government ban on walking on foot on the street? The solution will be that we should follow the safety rules at our end. Like don't drink and drive, bikers wear helmet, traffic police must do their job honestly, pedestrian must use footpath etc. Now another question comes to our mind. That is, who is at risk for heart attack while exercising? The, the pupil with pre-existing heart conditions are more likely to suffer from a heart attack while exercising. Those who are overweight, have high blood pressure or suffer from diabetes are all at greater risk than those who don't have any of these conditions. Poor diet, smoking, alcohol addiction and lack of physical activity can also increase the chances of having a heart attack during exercises. Suddenly this kind of pupil gets motivated and start exercising without proper guidance. So this kind of pupil are more prone to heart attack while exercising in gym and pupil blame gym. This is now this is the condition. So here we come the third point of our video. 
that means preventive measures there are several steps you can take to reduce your chances of having a heart attack in the gym warm up exercises before beginning any uh, high intensity workout stretching exercises are beneficial as they prepare the body for more intense physical ex uh, exercises monitoring your physical condition by consulting with doctor regularly will help uh, identify any potential issues early on try not to work out too hard or for too long at once don't exercise if you have an empty stomach or overfeed do exercise in a well fuel state in pre pre workout you can eat simple carbs and proteins there will be sweating during workout making you dehydrated so it is always important to carry a bottle of water and sip it in between exercises you can add some lemon and salt to the water also additionally it is important to listen to your body if you feel tired or exhausted after just a few minutes of exercise take a break and rest up before uh, resuming and the most important suggestion is please stay away from steroids many trainers are honest but there are huge number of trainers who suggest steroids to their client i cordially request you to please don't test take steroids you can achieve pro level body naturally so the summary is staying healthy by maintaining good habit such as eating well eating well means no junk food less oil food no smoking no drink and exercising regularly will go a long way towards reducing the chances of suffering from a heart attack while working out in the gym so once again thank you to see my video if you like the video please like and comment you your one like and one comment motivate me to do more informative videos for you thank you once again and stay healthy